Goliath is an open source prototype intended to test and develop the technology needed to create large gas powered quadcopters. Goliath was designed using a single gas engine with a belt drive to provide power to the four propellers. Control of the vehicles performed using vanes underneath the propellers to provide control. My hope is that Goliath will be the first of a series of vehicles that will make large quadcopters more commonplace. Flight Control will use the Pixoc controller running a customized version of the RG Pilot flight software to work with Goliath's control system. A radio receiver modified to receive ADS-B signals emitted by other aircraft connects Goliath with the general aviation airspace system. Separate from the flight control system, a Raspberry Pi is used as a Wi-Fi interface to connect to both the pilot and interested bystanders. The engine currently used for Goliath is a 30 horsepower Briggs & Stratton commercial riding lawnmower engine. This engine was chosen because it's inexpensive, easy to source, and one of the largest vertical shaft engines available. It is heavier than aircraft engines of similar power, but because the engine is vertical shaft, there is no need for a gearbox, which saves a considerable amount of weight. Goliath uses high torque drive or HTD belts to transfer power from the engines to the propellers. These belts are chosen over roller chain because they are lighter and they can operate at higher RPMs. Two belts are used, allowing one set of propellers to rotate clockwise and the other set counterclockwise, canceling out the aerodynamic torque. The direction of rotation is changed by using a double-sided belt on one of the sets. The propellers are fixed pitch propellers, 36 inches in diameter. They are custom made starting from a foam blank with birch stiffeners. The blanks are machined using a CNC router and then fiberglass and epoxy are laid up over the machine core. This process produces a propeller that can carry over 60 pounds while only weighing one and a quarter pounds. All of the machine code needed to build this propeller are already available on the GitHub repository. Since all of the propellers rotate at the same speed, unlike traditional quadcopters, a different control method is needed for Goliath. Underneath each propeller will be two control vanes, one for pitch and one for yaw. These control vanes work by redirecting airflow, similar to rudder controls on hovercraft. These types of controls have been used previously on the X-22, an experimental vertical takeoff vehicle built in the 1960s. The frame is constructed using slotted galvanized angle, also known as Dexium, bolted together. While this is heavier than a steel tube or composite frame, the Dexian is quickly assembled and can easily be reconfigured. At a later stage when the configuration is finalized, the Dexian could be swapped out for a lighter weight frame. Cutting guides have been created and are available on the repository. Each of the two exhaust pipes are built from go-kart hardware, which are easy to procure and inexpensive. The u build it kits are easily assembled using a minimum of welding and highly customizable. The electrical system is powered primarily from the alternator with the battery as a backup. The battery is 12 volts and designed for off-road vehicles so it will handle high vibration loads. The microcontrollers and servos are powered using a battery elimination circuit that provides 5 volts at 10 amps. Solid state relays are used to control the engine using the PicTalk. The pilot interfaces with Goliath using the FreeSky Tyrannus RC transmitter. This communicates with the Free Sky Delta 8 receiver, which passes the signal to the PixHawk flight controller. Shown is the GPS module for the PixHawk flight controller. Additionally, the Raspberry Pi is used as Wi Fi interface. After having some difficulty, the engine was started up for the first time in early September. Unfortunately, the belt system developed some slack, and two of the propellers were ruined. Since then, Goliath has been undergoing some changes to improve the belt system. The belt system has been rerouted and the propeller arms were extended slightly to take up the excess length. New tensioners have also been designed to keep the proper tension as the belt stretches. The propeller arms were also reconfigured to flip the propeller mounts around and new propeller mounts were made that allowed for easy removal of the propeller assembly. Dummy propellers have also been made out of plywood for the next engine test. I hope to have a successful engine test during the first week of October and the rest of the vehicle should come together quickly after that. Thanks to those who have supported and followed Goliath. For further information, or if you have questions, check out Goliath's Hackaday project page or visit mcleodarrow.com. Thanks for watching.